Hi, it's Lily Amanda for Portrait Creatives. In this video, we're going to talk about how to color the hair roots in Photoshop. If your subject haven't got time to visit the hair salon and the roots start to showing, this is the tutorial that will help you. I have done this tutorial four years ago. There was a different version of Photoshop. So this is an update version. Let's get into Photoshop. And we have a beautiful image of Rebecca here and you can see the roots of her hair is really showing. And there are two things we need to consider when changing the root color, okay? So you see that first is the brightness. The roots is much darker than the rest of the hair. That's the first thing we take care of. The second thing is the color differences. So she has a dark brown root color, and then we have to try to match that color to blonde, okay? So there are two things to tackle first step I would do is to brighten her root color. The first thing is I'm just going to use lasso tool to select the root area here. Doesn't have to be very accurate right now because we're going to use brush tool to make it a little bit more accurate. Okay, I'm going to add adjustment layer curves. And then I'm going to select this area and just brighten it up. This one, it will be too bright. I'm going to select, I think that's about it. You just see like the brightness is similar to the other colors of hair. If you make it brighter, it will be easier to change the color. So I'm going to use brush tool and change it to white brush and then just brush it over like this. Okay, so I'm just including more roots with the brush. Okay. All right, that looks okay. I'm going to use feather to smooth the edges. Okay, that looks better, you see, before and after. So we have lift up the brightness for the root. And I'm going to paint a little bit back with the root here because this is looking too bright. So I'm going to use brush and use black brush. Opacity, I'm going to change to about 20%. I'm just going to paint this highlight over. So it's darker, can match these two area better. So that looks okay. Next step, we are going to use frequency separation. Frequency separation is to separate the texture and color and tone to two different layers. So you can tackle on one and not touch the other. Okay, so if you don't know what is frequency separation, I have another video talk about what it is and how to use it. I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out and also download the action. So here, I'm just going to run the action and I'm going to the action panel and this one, frequency separation, portrait creatives. I'm just going to hit play and you will run the action. So this is the time where we decide what is the radius Usually I go when the textures all disappear. Okay, so I think about here is fine. The text disappear and only have like color in tone over here. I think this is good and I'm going to hit okay. So we have these two layers here already. And the next thing I want to do is actually to change the color of the roots. So I'm going to add a new layer on top of the color in tone. And then I'm just gonna paint the color over it. I'm also, I'm going to use a brush B and change the opacity to a hundred. Okay. I'm going to sample the color over here and hold on the option key here and just paint over. You don't have to be super accurate here. Okay. So I'm just going to paint all these roots, the same color over here a little bit and this area as well. Okay, so just about here. And I'll change the brush tool to 50% and paint over the center area. I'm changing to the erase tool and just erase here a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to brush the hair a tiny bit here. Okay, and then I'm going to change to the blending mode to color. Okay, so you see the result now. The area connected to the hair isn't blending very well, right? 
So I'm going to carry on to use this brush with 20% because this, the edges are not blending very well. So I'm going to use the same color with 20% of opacity. I'm just going to paint it this area like that on the edges, just paint over. And I go over the same place a few times so they will blend better together. Okay, like that. Okay, just gonna blend it in. That blended a little bit better. And I also can change my brush color to a different color as well. Like I can sample this color and then I can paint with 20% opacity. And so I can just paint over and you will see them blend together better. So let's see, that's before and after. Okay, so that looks tons better. And I'm just going to carry on to paint until it looks more realistic. That's before, that's after. Let's zoom out to have a look. So that looks much better. And we can also play with the opacity here. Like I can change it to 90% to have a more natural look if you want. If you want to blend in these two area even better, here's what I would do. I would select these two layers and merge them. Okay, go to layer, merge layers. And these two layers will merge together. So what we have done, it already merged to one layer in the color and tone. I will use lasso tool. Just select one area here. And then I will use filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And to blend them together, I think this is just too much. Let me just blend it about seven here. Hit OK, and let me see if it blends better. OK, and then I'm going to do this area as well. And you can see from filter, I can just use this command F to redo again my last step. So I'm just going to use command F. OK, that's it. It looks better like this. Let me zoom out to see it's before and after. So I'm going to use another layer to blend the color better together. And I'm going to select a smaller brush. I'm going to use 20%, a smaller brush, the same size as this here highlight. And I'm going to sample with this color. Hold on option key, I'm going to brush over. Okay, just like that, even a smaller brush. Sample over here and brush. Sample over here and brush. Okay, and sample over here and brush. Let me see, before and after. So that looks much more blended, just because she has some highlights. So if we create the same highlight effect, it will look very blended and look natural. So this is the tutorial today, how to fix or change the hair root color. If you find value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up and we will be uploading more helpful tutorials. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.